money that they could use for other things and claim, oh yeah, this was war money, you know. Makes sense. So, um, uh, me, I died, remember? I was, but then I left. I'm, I lost up my diamond sword and I'm pretty butt hurt because so, I don't usually anyway, die. From what I've heard though, George W. Bush was a good Christian dude and, you know, maybe he didn't orchestrate it, maybe he was kind of victimized by the cabinet members and faggot tree amongst them, I don't know. I'm, that's one of the questions I'm going to ask God when I'm dead. I'm going to be like, yo, JC, did Bush do 9 11? And he'll be like, yes, my son, you were right. Those guys were right. The conspiracy theory is not a conspiracy theory, it's the truth. NBC lied. <laughs> and I'll be like, I knew NBC couldn't be trusted. <laughs> well. We have some more important questions to ask if he was real. Luke. I think that there will be time to ask him as many questions as we need to, as we want to. So that's a that's an interesting uh, a question, though, Jedi. What would you ask him? Why are you uh, such a terrible person? Why do you let terrible things happen to terrible people, or to good people rather? Why do you let terrible things happen to good people? Mm. Would be numero uno question. Hey. Uh, if you're the same, if he's turns out to claim to be the same god of the, as a uh, Christian god, that would be numero uno question for that particular god. Why, why good thing? Why bad things happen to good people? Bad people? Ma I, no, that and why do bad things have to happen in general? You have all this power. You could have made it so bad things never happened. Why have bad things happen? It doesn't really seem to serve any purpose. All right. Luke, do you need a bed? Yeah, I can tell you what I think. Sure. Keep telling Garrett Luke. Okay. <sighs> Garrett, think... is this going to turn into a missionary <laughs> preaching right here? I'm going right to do my best to not do that, but it might. And if it does, no. I apologize. Uh... <laughs> I think, I, I'm, I'm really going to try hard. If I start overstepping, let me know. Okay. I think that life is about learning and experience and if God stopped things from happening in general that would kind of defeat the purpose of living okay now I'm not asking why he doesn't stop them I'm asking why even have that be a possibility he... in the first place why not just make a world where that does not even have to be a possibility in the slightest you how have all you... this power how would you, you grow and learn all the power in the world by I don't know I'd have to know the rules of the world all I know is that the rules could have been, because he has all the power he could ever need to want, I could have made am, it to be, there would be no need for it. I am suggesting that the fastest way to learn and grow is through trial and error, which sometimes mean bad things are going to happen to good people because, unfortunately, not everybody is as good at trying and erroring as others. But what about the people backing up Jedi here? Just, just I'm just playing ref, but like, because I feel no, like he's going to say this anyways. Uh, people that are born into less fortunate circumstances. What would you say to that? Uh, I would say that's a byproduct of life. You had to be born somewhere. It's a lottery. Sometimes people aren't born as lucky as others. Okay. <sighs> Now, I'm also very much of the opinion that where you're born will, does affect your chances, but it doesn't determine your destiny. I don't think that people need to be stuck in a never-ending cycle of being born in poverty, growing up in poverty, having children in poverty, rich, rinse and repeat. I think that if you put in hard work and dedication and with a little bit of luck, you can go wherever you want. At, at least in America, you know. I feel like even in America, that's not a thing anymore. Like, the American dream is low-key dead. Dying? I don't yeah. think it's dead yet. Well, I think it's dying. Uh, yes, yes, because it's still possible, you know. It's still possible. It's just, 
but the freaking boomers bro they had it so easy like they could be working at like a sawmill making enough money to, to buy a decent sized house and support a family of meredith and jerry and bob and dylan and kathy and i think that was it's nuts you can't do that anymore houses are so expensive tuition so expensive freaking older people are like back in my day everything was so easy it's like well yeah or not everything was so easy like i worked for it it's like well yeah you did but it was a lot cheaper heck dude minecraft would be like three bucks back then bro <sighs> Hey, uh, my mom's calling. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Anyway, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Huh. <laughs> I'm, I'm here all weekend. You can uh, ask me questions. Q&A later. Works for me. Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to hop off here, actually. It's getting kind of oh, yeah. late. Okay. That was uh, interesting talks <laughs> from everybody. I want to do this again. That was fun. All right. Come up with some good questions for me next time. Aliens. <laughs> Dude, you already know it. Aliens are so real. I can't wait for Area 51. Yep. All right. Cool. Okay. Uh, maybe even tomorrow or something. That'll be fun. All right. Okay. This is my guys. See ya. Deuces.